Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Industries such as aviation are constantly evolving, implementing new technologies and devising better solutions to improve the efficiency of these forms of transport. In recent decades, the increasing importance of using electric and hybrid propulsion systems for different modes of transport has influenced the emergence of multiple aircraft proposals implementing this technology. Such is the case of the Electra aircraft, which uses hybrid electric propulsion, representing a breakthrough in aviation by seeking to increase efficiency and reduce emissions generated by pure combustion engines. During its first flight in late 2023, the aircraft flew for 23 minutes, reaching altitudes of 3,200 feet, achieving a milestone in advancing hybrid aircraft technology. This test demonstrated the potential of its eight electric motors, powered by a turbo generator in the nose to enhance the wing lift and achieve ultra-short takeoff and landing capabilities while reducing noise and emissions. With these results, Electra's goal is to develop a prototype of a full-scale pre-production ESTOL aircraft, which can travel between 50 and 500 miles the same ranges made by automobiles today. This will improve urban transportation, reducing operating times and not being restricted by the small spaces of such areas. The potential shown by the Electra aircraft has caught the attention of military forces, which see hybrid propulsion technology as a potential advantage for their operations. To this end, the U.S. Marines, in collaboration with Electra, organized experimental flights at the Marine Corps Air Facility Quantico in mid-2024, where short takeoffs were carried out on both conventional and grass runways. In addition, the aircraft demonstrated its ability to generate up to 600 kilowatts of continuous power with its generator, which has the potential to be effective during medical operations or troop insertions, reducing fuel consumption compared to helicopters that perform these missions. The results demonstrated by this type of aircraft reveal how hybrid electric propulsion systems are transforming the industry. Several companies and initiatives are focused on developing and building better hybrid systems for implementation in these new aircraft. One of these is the Hipster Project which has designed a serial hybrid propulsion system for small aircraft that uses an electric motor to drive the propeller. The architecture of this system involves the assembly consisting of the propeller directly connected to the 200 kilowatt electric motor powered by batteries, which are then charged by the combustion engine. including electric only, generator only, or a combination of both. Ground tests were conducted with the powertrain integrated into the Pipistrel Panthera aircraft to test the operation and capabilities of the system designed by Hipster, which ended with successful results. This plane is a highly efficient four-seat aircraft built entirely of composite materials. 
Pipistrel offers the Panthera as an experimental aircraft for amateur construction. This ease of construction encouraged implementation of the hybrid system program on this aircraft. Such a variant of the Panthera has achieved features like a maximum takeoff weight of 2,900 pounds, a top speed of 177 knots true airspeed, and a range of 350 nautical miles. Over the years, progress in the development of different propulsion systems has led not only to the introduction of hybrid systems, but also to the development of fully electric technology. This happened with Pipistrel's Velis Electro, which is considered the world's first type certified electric aircraft after obtaining certification from the European Union Aviation Safety Agency. Based on the Pipistro virus airframe, it has a two-seat configuration, and its purpose is mainly for pilot training, as it is a simple plane to fly. Besides having a cantilever high wing, the plane features a stick shaker, fixed tricycle landing gear, and a single 57 kilowatt electric motor in tractor configuration. Such a motor is powered by a 20 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is enough to provide up to 50 minutes of endurance. In short, thanks to implementing an electric powertrain, this model offers a quiet and eco-friendly alternative to traditional training aircraft. With the positive feedback provided by aircraft like the Velis Electro, Military branches such as the U.S. Air Force have initiated programs to evaluate the potential of electric aircraft for use in their military operations. Tests were conducted using the Bellis Electro at Eglin Air Force Base, where at least 20 volunteer test pilots flew the aircraft for a period of three weeks. Performing different maneuvers and observing how the aircraft performs under these conditions allowed these pilots to provide the necessary feedback to determine what advantages and benefits a fully electric system could provide within military operations. This exploration of electric propulsion has allowed the USAF to collaborate with more companies to advance the development of these aircraft. In late 2023, the Alia aircraft was tested at Eglin Air Force Base in conjunction with its manufacturing company, Beta Technologies. This is a five-passenger electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that can also be used for air cargo transportation for advanced air mobility. To achieve this, the Alia has four VTOL propellers, one pusher propeller, one high main arched wing, a large V-tail, and fixed quadricycle wheeled landing gear. In November 2024, the company rolled out its first production Alia from the assembly line in Vermont, which was certified by the FAA making a step toward commercializing electric aviation. All of this is the result of the testing phases carried out by the company and the military forces, including a three-month experimental deployment at Duke Field. Such tests assess the capacities of the aircraft, 
including its range of 250 miles with a top speed of 138 miles per hour. And as expected, operating noise levels 90% quieter than traditional helicopters. With its 50-foot wingspan and the power delivered by the electric motors, the test proved its potential for agile combat employment logistics, leveraging its 1,000-pound payload capacity. When evaluating potential clean propulsion alternatives, the aviation industry has seen hydrogen technologies as a path with enormous potential to achieve these goals. Currently, research into the use of this gas demonstrates its potential to reduce carbon emissions. This has paved the way for companies like Zero Avia to make history by flying a 19-seat Dornier 228 aircraft equipped with a hydrogen electric powertrain. This twin-engine aircraft was retrofitted to incorporate the hydrogen electric engine on its left wing, which operated alongside a single Honeywell TPE 331 stock engine on the right. Other companies, such as Universal Hydrogen, have completed tests with their 40-passenger ATR-72 aircraft, which uses a hydrogen fuel cell powertrain in one of its turboprops. To refine this technology and validate the propulsion system's characteristics, this company uses a test rig known as Ironbird. This device replicates the structural and functional aspects of the propulsion system, using hydrogen storage modules to provide the fuel to power the rig for more than three hours at full power. Thanks to the reversed electrolysis process that occurs within the fuel cell system, this power is delivered continuously to the electric motor, providing the necessary thrust for the airplane. After ensuring the capabilities of the propulsion system, the tests are scaled up by using the aircraft directly for different conditions, starting with taxi tests that allow the company to analyze the aircraft's handling on the ground, as well as the performance of the hydrogen system when it's at low power settings. All these tests ultimately culminate in the aircraft's first flight, which is the definitive proof of the effectiveness of these propulsion systems. Before this first takeoff, the company meticulously prepares the aircraft, ensuring that all systems are connected and all components are in good condition. Once ready, the aircraft is brought to the runway following the standard protocols for any airplane and then takes off, marking a milestone in aviation. This potential with hydrogen has allowed universal hydrogen to promote solutions, such as conversion kits that allow existing aircraft to be adapted to the hydrogen powertrain. This not only includes the installation of these engines, but also an addition to airport infrastructure by integrating hydrogen generation, storage, and distribution systems. With the creation of these aircraft and the development of these new propulsion systems, the trend toward cleaner and more efficient alternatives in air transportation is evident. Although it is still in an early stage of growth, especially compared to the industry as a whole, this drive to develop new technologies will only grow.
That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.